before 6.30 p.m., 24th District officers on patrol heard multiple gunshots coming from the 800 block of East Allegheny Avenue. The officers arrived there within seconds. When they pulled up on the sidewalk in the 800 block of East Allegheny, they found three shooting victims. They found a 23-year-old male shot multiple times throughout his body. They found a 39-year-old male shot in the arm. They also found a 42-year-old male shot in the arm. All three victims were transported to Temple Hospital by police. The 23-year-old male shot multiple times is critical undergoing surgery. The 39 and 42-year-old victims, both shot in the arm, are in stable condition. The 39-year-old male, we're being told, is completely deaf, cannot hear at all. Based on ballistic evidence, we know at least 22 shots were fired. We found 22 spent shell casings all on the sidewalk in the 800 block of East Allegheny Avenue. The spent shell casings are clearly two separate caliber, so we know two separate caliber semi-automatic weapons were fired. Now, fortunately, the entire incident was captured on several different private surveillance cameras. Police and detectives did view the recordings. You can clearly see a male firing multiple shots into a crowd of about 15 people that were standing in front of a takeout restaurant in the 800 block of East Allegheny. Then you see a second shooter firing shots at the first shooter. And both shooters flee on foot opposite ways on Allegheny Avenue. Police got information that one of the shooters, the initial shooter, was on the block in the 700 block of East Hilton Street. When police went to that location, they were told by witnesses that a male had just run inside a property. Police were able to enter the property and they apprehended a male who fit the description of the shooter. They also found a weapon inside of that property that the male had just discarded. So that male is 37 years of age and he fits the description from witnesses, but he also fits the description of the recordings that recorded this shooting on separate, several separate cameras. So that individual was taken into custody. When police took him into custody, he stated that he was shot in the leg. So he's a fourth victim, but he's also a suspect. So police took that suspect to Temple Hospital, where he's being treated for gunshot wound to his leg. We're holding the scene where he was arrested on Hilton Street, where we did recover a semi-automatic weapon. We believe that this suspect may have been shot by the second shooter who returned fire. So at this point, East detectives, they are on location processing the scene, which is 22 spent shell casings. They're also going to investigate the scene on Hilton Street where we arrested the suspect and where the weapon has been recovered. Uh, at this time, we believe that the 23-year-old male who shot multiple times throughout the body, even though he's critical, we believe he is going to survive the other two victims, including the 39-year-old male who is completely deaf. He's in stable condition. So East detectives, they're on location, processing the scene and retrieving those recordings. We know at least two cameras did record the entire incident, but we found numerous other cameras on both sides of the street because there's multiple businesses at the intersection uh, in the 800 block of East Allegheny. Now, when this shooting took place, it was just before 6.30 p.m., it was still daylight, and this entire incident took place just one half a block from Kensington and Allegheny, which is a very well-known intersection here in Philadelphia, especially here in Kensington. You have the L train, and you have a SEPTA hub on location at K&A, and there are multiple businesses retail businesses and some takeout restaurants that were open for business at the time. So we know not only was there a lot of vehicular traffic on Allegheny Avenue as well as Kensington Avenue, but a lot of pedestrian, a lot of foot traffic because of all the businesses and because of the SEPTA hub and the L train. So even though a total of four people were shot, we're still lucky that there weren't more victims and we're lucky that three of the four 
are in stable condition and one we believe is the initial shooter and he is in custody.